strikes again! Here it comes! I got your back! Here you go. Let's go! Hello, Wanderers, and welcome to Final Fantasy XV. The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, Your Majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. <sighs> Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son, merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. If you think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself... to the brink of death. You get up. <sighs> Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Sheesh. I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady.
map is correct. The map said Hammerhead was right there. Literally next door. Looks that way. On a map of the world. <sighs> the world's a big old place. Filled with wonders. Uh, tell that to my legs. You guys even pushing? Hard as I can. Y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Papa. Well, that makes you. Cindy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. <sighs> Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This'll make sure y'all don't get lost. Well, might as well make good use of the extra time. He'll take his time, but he'll get her done. Whoa! They got Ebony out here! Oh, Ignis is gonna flip! Wait... Oh, uh, what's a gill? Take a look at our wares. moment, knocked. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Broken down and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? We're strapped for cash. Any way we could earn a little? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? Old man's got his eye on you, Noct. Show him what you got.
Better make tracks. Ignis, we're going. On my way. Looks like we found our first targets. Ready, knocked. Eyes forward. Didn't mean to do that. Ignis, all business. You said it. Shut up! Next to fear! Prompto's here! Knew you weren't completely useless! Oh yeah! Hey! Where'd you learn that one, Noct? Excellent work. On we go. Telegraph pole's been split in two, and not just this one either. The hell do you think did this? Hard to say. Natural disaster, perhaps? You sure? The hammerhead doesn't have a scratch on it. Maybe a huge monster came and knocked him down. It better not be the varmint Cindy was talking about. Gonna know what hit him. Let's do this. Get on with it. Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. Oh, what did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. Let's get done with this rip round. 
Never miss! Knocked! Right over here as fast as I could. Yep. Open up, okay. Be done. The hot hand. Huh, you think? We all good? Better than good. Good to go. Well, and look who's in here. The man of the hour. Dave, right? <laughs> Been looking for you. Yeah. I didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about them varmints. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Ah, uh, yeah. We'll take care of it. Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw him. Way to show some spunk. Now let's get ready to kick some tail. Not yet. I've got a plan. Huh. What are we looking at? This creature is known as a saber tusk. It skewers prey with its tusks, extracting game from the safety and comfort of burrows. That's a bit heartless. Yeah. Don't think we'll be befriending any. The hut is on. Oh, I'm starving! Break after this? Gladly. Don't wear yourself out like that. Take cover and rest up. In. Oh, no one. No oh, man. Ooh, head bashing. Ah! I am not into wildlife. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Stop bitching. Start killing. Hey. Sorry. Don't miss! Any problems? Don't worry about me. 
the Prince of Pain. Yep. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. The Hunters are really out in full force around here, huh? So they're the new Crowns Guard or something? Similar, though technically a civilian outfit. They've definitely seen a lot more action than we have. Uh, is it cool that we rock Crowns Guard outfits? Be worse not to. They made them especially for us. Even got a sweet insignia on them. In the Crowns Guard, your attire identifies you. So wear it with pride. Call it a day. All right. I'm gonna pitch the tent. like a father to her. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. Well, like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and Sid will stuff his wrench with a sun don't shine. Take care of the car and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car.
Well taken. This one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. Trouble you a moment, Noct. Yeah? I could use your help in the morning. Me and mornings don't usually get along. Might if you help me make breakfast. Most important meal. Well then, tomorrow it is. to let the pot simmer without ever letting it burn. How do I do that? A few stirs here and there should suffice. When's the last time you cooked anything? Um, too long ago to remember. Back when you were a part-time cook. Sounds right. But even back then, I was pretty much just winging it. <laughs> Hardly what I'd call cooking, I imagine. Just what normal people would. Oh, let's see how things are stewing. Hmm, could use just a touch longer to thicken, if you don't mind stirring. Not at all, if you don't mind telling me what this cooking class is all about. No. Oh. I was only hoping to have a fireside chat. See what's got you stewing. So you cooked up this little pretense. All these years. You never stopped worrying about me. My royal duty per His Majesty. Your hobby. Now then, time for the taste test. Hmm. Not bad for your first try. Why not take a taste? Can't complain. It's not so bad every once in a while. Just not first thing in the morning. No, no. The world at dawn is full of wonders. Yeah, can't wait to marvel at them all. Dawn tomorrow. I'll marvel at my own pace. You were a big help. Yeah, I'm good like that. Right. Huh. I wonder what sort of meat they use here. Doesn't matter, as long as it tastes good. about a bite to eat. What do y'all want to know? So what'll it be today? Yeah, here it comes. Oh. 
I dare say I could make this a camp. Take your pick. Much obliged. Stay alert. But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here. to me. Yeah. Look out! about the weight. Ain't she purty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back. We should all get a picture with her.
all the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Sure, why not? And I needn't remind you to exercise caution. Shot. <laughs> I made sure I got the regalia's good side. Morning. Hey. Oh. Wow. Still can't believe you're actually tying the knot, dude. How does it feel now that it's finally happening? Fine, I guess. Ah, come on. You can't fool me. Any guy would be over the moon to marry her. No big deal. Yeah, whatever. How are you today? Till next time! <clears throat> There's more dangerous things prowling about these days. Welcome to the crow's nest. You want something to eat? Happy to tell you about the area. some pretty tough customers. Good luck to you.
have a look at the menu. It's far enough for today. Might be wise to leave the driving to me until we found our bearings out here. Y'all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll take it out of the trunk, so y'all just sit tight. Hmm? Umbra. Bringing us stuff. Atta boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? Just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. So, hmm? I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure, that's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. So, hmm? I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure, that's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. about it.
Sure, I'll bring that right out. Oh yeah, here it comes. I dare say I could make this at camp. Thanks for your business. Would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. Ah, <sighs> I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. Huh? There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! Uh, thanks for the offer, but once we're back in the Crown City, I think I'd better score my own wheels. Ignis, pull over a sec. Certainly. Time to go. All right. Now that's what I call a good shot. <laughs> Nailed it. This should be a hit. Perfect timing. <laughs> Morning. Sup? Huh? 
Hello and welcome. Please come again. Hello and welcome. We hope to see you again. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. What's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Uh huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. <sighs> oh. Yeah, right. Do <sighs> you believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, though I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. So, they'll be holding the wedding ceremony in Altitia? Yeah, <laughs> makes you laugh. Welcome to the Mother of Pearl. What do you feel like having today? Take a look at the menu. a restaurant. Welcome to Golden Key. This bite? How am I supposed to make my deliveries? Welcome back. What do you feel like having today? Thank you for your patronage. Welcome back. We use the freshest fish in every dish.
Thank you for your patronage. Hey, do you serve anything a cat might like? That the best pickup line you've got? What? No, uh... There's this cat over there. <laughs> I'm only teasing. I have a feeling I know the feline you've got in mind. Let me whip something up. Paying customers come first, though, and someone just ordered the last fish on hand. Would you mind catching another one of these while I make their meal? We'll be fine as long as we're at a haven. The Oracle will protect us. Maybe someday when you're older, but tonight we're sleeping in town. Great! I'll start on it right away. You know, this is really thoughtful of you, but be warned. Cats are clean. You're one spoiled cat. Aww. I think he likes you. I guess. Clawed his way into a heart. Might keep on clinging. Forever. About time for a new line, ain't it? Ignis's cooking really is a class above. You reckon? What, what, you don't think so? Seems pretty normal to me. <laughs> to royalty, maybe. To us plebes, it's anything but. Here you go. Caught fresh. <sighs> what? You don't like fish? No. Oh, you only like cooked fish. All right. Huh. According to my sources, the Empire, given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding, right, Prince Noctus? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince of Lucis, bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. What do you want? 
Hey, I knew you'd come around. Let me see your map. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capish? I'll make sure you got a boat to ride, all right? Got your number, Nox. Huh. Not like we made much effort to keep it secret. Even if we had, the press always finds a way. We needn't befriend him, but we'd best not make him our enemy. Greetings, sir. Perhaps next time. Nailed it. Why can't I warp too? So unfair. <laughs> 